On today's episode of Junk Wax Genius, 1989 Tops, True Wax, and 1994 Studio. 94, what I consider the end, really, of the Junk Wax era because of the way uh, the companies really started to limit production and kind of recognize that more is not necessarily better. So, uh, at least in terms of, like, quantity of cards in a set. 792 cards, though, in 1989 Tops. You get managers, you get team leaders, you get all kinds of nonsense, as they say here in the hobby. You get a stick of gum attached to your baseball card. It's not really supposed to be attached, but after 30-odd uh, years wrapped up together, Tommy Barrett is permanently ruined, and old Scott Medvin, looking startled, maybe, that he's on a, a baseball card, uh, he's ruined as well, not, not really. But uh, Tommy Barrett, we're not getting you back, bud. Scott Medvin, you make it. All right, who else did we get in our pack of 1989 tops? I'm holding out for that Greg Jeffries. I'm still holding out for Greg Jeffries, Dave Schmidt, Andy Van Slyke All-Star, Von Hayes, Dave Gallagher tops All-Pro rookie. Uh, back in the day, I put all of those trophy cards in a binder, even if I didn't know the first thing about the guy. Doug Desenzo, Dave Steeb, dominant around that time. Howard Johnson, another strong hitter of that day. Joe Baver. The Saver, Steve Lake, Dennis Boyd, Rob Dibble, Robin Yelt, Royo, hashtag Royo, and Sil Camposano, hashtag Royo. Interesting uh, font there. The, the spacing seems a little different on the back of his card as opposed to, let's see, just like the, the font size. Maybe they had to change it a little bit. Interesting, the way his are spread out just a little bit, but to get everything to fit, maybe they had to change it. There you go. Robbing out in our 89 tops, pick of the pack. Let's move on to 94 Studio. You get 12 cards in here, but they are premium quality, definitely more upscale. You got gloss, you've got gold or kind of holographic foil, better photography quality, all kinds of tricks to, to make this studio really pop. There's John Olerud. Raul Mondesi, would have been excited to get a Raul Mondesi card in 1994. Ellis Burks, kind of difficult to read, this uh, kind of holographic foil print, but you can sometimes cheat and look at the player's name on their jersey over their shoulder. No such luck, though, with Eric Davis wearing 33 for the Tigers and no name on the back of his jersey. Interesting. Reggie Sanders wearing those Reds vests back in the day. Mark Grace, there's Gracie, 17. Roberto Mejia. Ivan Rodriguez, love that. We'll put him just to the side and we'll come back and review. Pat Kelly, of course, no name on the back for the Yankees. Mike Stanley, Scott Livingstone. And the last card in the pack, Tim Wallach, longtime expo here, a Dodger. There's Yvonne Rodriguez, Pudge. I like these studio cards. Emphasis on photography, emphasis on the graphics. Very little stats, though. All right, it's Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where a grown man opens old baseball cards and helps you remember some guys. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, if you haven't already, come on, what are you doing? I would love to have the support. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with two more packs on the channel. Thanks for watching Junk Wax Genius.